Since the internet revolution in the late 20th century, countries have been looking at methods of involving electronic means in elections or referendums, a practice referred to as e-voting. The Council of Europe have recently published an e-voting handbook that reflects the findings of e-voting experiments held in European countries. The handbook examines the important issues in e-voting and gives an overview of the e-voting aspects in the framework of the electoral cycle. So, what are the obstacles that need to be overcome before e-voting can become as easy as clicking a button? A number of issues relate to voter trust in the system. Although the system will be electronic, a paper audit may be needed to enhance confidence in the system and in case of a recount. End-to-end -end verification can also help in building trust, meaning voters are able to verify that their vote has been counted after the election. When voting via the internet from home, measures must be put in to ensure family members don't influence or decide the vote of other family members. Before introducing e-voting, there should be sufficient public debate on the subject to determine what voters want with regard to elections. E-voting can provide opportunities for improving certain groups' access to the election process, such as the visually impaired, those unable to visit polling stations, military personnel and citizens living abroad. There are also a number of technical issues to consider. For example, should the voting software being used be open source, making the source codes freely available? A secure username and password system must be in place so voters' identity can be authenticated. The electronic link between the voter and the vote must be removed at some stage to respect the secrecy of the ballot. Decisions must be made on the design and layout of the electronic ballot paper and whether or not it should have the same design as the paper ballot. There should be an option for voters to review and confirm their vote before sending it. With e-voting, consideration may be given to extending the voting period from a single day to anything up to a few weeks to reduce demands on availability and capacity. The handbook further addresses practical e-voting considerations in the framework of the electoral cycle. This means it has enough information to be used as a standalone guide, but governments or organisations will benefit most by consulting it in conjunction with the Council of Europe recommendations for legal, operational and technical standards for e-voting. E-voting clearly has many obstacles to overcome before it can be properly implemented and this Council of Europe handbook will help to aid those interested in pursuing it further.